Hello, you guys. Let's unbox some fun. Makai will be so excited. I'm surprising him with this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse car. He always wants to ride, so gas happy little boy gets his own whip. <sighs> Stay tuned. Unboxing time. It looks like we have a lot to put together. It's not too much. Oh, we have our wheels that are missing. But look, we have our Mickey on the door. Let's get, get in. Oh my gosh, that's so cute with the door. Oh, it looks like a speaker in it. The windshield. This looks like it's just a snap on. Oh, that's cute. Look at the windshield. And we got a part that goes right here across the back. The little the front wheel. Oh, the steering wheel. Oh, it's, it's kind of simple to be honest. He has two seats. One for him, and Akaya says one for her. Yep. Yep. I want the ride too. Yep. Oh, look at the steering wheel. It's so cute. Get a closer look at that steering wheel. That shiny gold Mickey. Oh man, he even has hubcaps. They are so cute. Look at the Mickey hubcaps. I know they're so sparkly shiny, you can hardly see them, y'all. It has a Mickey head on them. They are so cute. I don't know where it goes yet. We're gonna figure it out. We have our face tire wheels. And dun 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 dun, some instructions. So let's just scramble through this and see what we need to do. I was about to panic, y'all. Here's our wheels. I could not find the wheels. I was like, where are the wheels? They're all four, we're all under the front hood of the truck. Let's get it fixed. Okay, you guys, I have just put on the front wheel and the back wheel on the driver's side and they gave us this little handy dandy tool that is very very helpful oh my gosh so that's all i needed to administer these wheels on but i want to get one side on before i do the other side so i'm gonna go ahead and flip it so we can do the other side and i'll show you how i did that i'm trying to go hard got the little doors on jake Yes, y'all gonna be ready to ride. I'm riding to the kid lady. You riding to the kid lady. I'm <laughs> <laughs> be like, they see me rolling. They hating. Hey. They see me rolling. They hating. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. Okay, so we're gonna administer the rear wheel first. It's rear on the wheel. We just remove this piece, like a stopper piece, protection. Take your little handy dandy tool that they provided you and you unscrew both of these pieces, place them in a safe spot, and you match your pieces up above. Take your second piece, and then we're just gonna place our pieces back on. First, your washer, like start rolling. Put your piece on, screw it down nice and tight. Voila, we have a wheel. We'll place our hub cap on. It just fits into each little groove. Pops right into place. For our front wheel, it is a little different. This time you have three pieces. So there is a larger washer. Our front wheel, we'll place it on. This is the bottom. Here I popped into place. Then we put our second smaller washer. Screw our nut on. I'm just a young single mom that's making it happen for these babies. Hub cap. And we have a shiny wheel. There is one important part that we have to mention about the tip over safety bars. There is three bars that is in the package. They all look like this. It also comes with the screws. Here are our screws. There are Two places right here for the screws and two places right here for the screws. And so at each end, the bar is just placed in the place right there as such. And these bars right here fit right into this piece right here, which will go right on top. Should be simple. So we're gonna see how this goes. So we have both pieces assembled. Now we have to assemble our bar in the front. Take that little flip over because we have to screw that in. You know what that is for you guys? The steering wheel. It's gonna add a little glue right up there. So, so we'll pop that on. The dashboard is what holds it in. You'll need your screwdriver and two screws for this. And when you pop one, 
there are connect connector pieces which are two of them and there is two at each end in the vehicle which are located right here move that tape not your typical tool and all of you guys. This Mickey car gets an A plus thumbs up in quick assembly for me. Oh my gosh. It's a mess. I love it. I don't pop door, you guys. Huh? Quick and easy. Ah! Next will be our bag with the steering wheel in it. It also has the charger cord inside. Side view mirrors. Too cute. So they pop right in. And my baby will be riding in okay so we just popped on our nice fender and so it looks like the last part we have to do before we charge are pop in our seats so this should be simple we have a few screws left we have four screws left so let's make this happen okay i currently have one seat that i have placed in but before i put the other one in i just want to let you know because we are on our last last item to do before we charge so this is the charger piece and we have two um, on each side so this is the passenger side and then there's one under the driver's seat once I'm finished assembling that will be it but I just want you to see where I will be plugging it up to charge plug directly in your wall outlet it does say to do that don't use an extension cord and then just plug the other end up into this fish just like a puzzle let it charge up for three hours I'll show you the full finished piece and here is our finished product I am so excited. Look at this. Look at the doors that open, you guys. They are so cute. The little handles on the inside. The rear view mirror. The little Mickey emblem groove on the outside. Little gears. I love those. Look at the lights. It's very detailed. It's very, very cute. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Okay, so we're going to come around to the inside area. It has the little miles per hour ready to start up ha -ha. got your gears in the inside and look at that license plate mickey one who wouldn't love that and he even has exhaust pipes how cool is that i think he's ready to zoom it on I'm gonna let this bad boy charge up for three hours and we'll see you guys thanks for watching you guys give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the crazy eight